Today I want to look at some ideas to improve your Scrabble score. Let's look at placing the first word. It's doubled because of the double word score, but ideally you want it to be at least five letters so that one of the letters covers this square here, which is then doubled before the whole word score is doubled. Looking at our letters, you can see it would be ideal if we could put the W on that double letter score and score eight before it's even doubled to 16. So what have we got? We can do wider, which is five letters, which would score 26, which is quite good for a first go. Remember, we don't really want to use the S on the first go because it would be a bit of a waste. And it also doesn't matter whether you place your word vertically or horizontally, it scores exactly the same. Now look for opportunities in this setup. Our eye should be drawn straight to this square here. Triple letter both ways if you put a word down here or up there. And the letters that would fit, like S or better still Y, would score 24 points just on that one letter alone being placed there if you did a word down or up. Instead of a letter at the end, how about a letter at the beginning? Chair would fit nicely there, especially if you could make a word as well. Mac would score 24 points. That's an example of extending a word by one letter on either side. But can you add more than one letter to some of these words? Is there something you could put down there to score a triple word score? Perhaps S-U-N, sundries. Is there anything we can do here to get this triple word score? Something plants? Let's have a look at our letters. Well, you can have replants. RE are good letters to have. They provide a good prefix to a lot of words. That would score 30. But you can do even better than that. How about implants? That actually scores more. 36. On that point, I want to look at suffixes and prefixes. So let's just look at the letters that you have in your rack. Now, I've already mentioned RE as a good prefix. And of course, you can use it as a suffix, as in ER. And you can merge it with MER or GER or NER, all to make nice longer words. And don't forget one of the nicest suffixes there is, ing. But remember, there's no point in having good prefixes and suffixes in your rack if you can't use them with words on the board. So it's a combination of looking at the board, looking for opportunities, and then seeing whether letters in your rack can fit into the place. Don't spend ages trying to find big words in your rack and then find that you can't place them on the board. There is probably one exception to that, and that's when you think you might have a seven letter word. Try and get your seven letter word in your rack first, players, and then see whether you can put it on the board. Now, because a seven letter word scores you a 50 bonus, it's almost worth getting it out anywhere in any position because it gives you such an advantage. But unfortunately, it doesn't fit here. If I put this down here, the S occurs in the wrong place to do chairs. And this is where you need your anagrams because an anagram of players is parsley and then it will fit. With the S in that position. So there it is, some ideas for improving your Scrabble score.